Hello, my name is Blagoje and welcome back. In this video I would finally like to talk about one of my projects that I didn't have time to create a long form video and that is actually uh, this one. So how you can lock and unlock your PC with ESP32. And the one functionality that you need inside ESP32 is actually HID. Where HID stands for Human Interface Devices. So we would like our ESP32 to, to mimic the key presses on your keyboard, which uh, which will lock and unlock your PC, including your password. So if you check uh, if you check out, for example, this short video from uh, this older short video or this example, you will see the point of it. So we are actually mimicking the locking of our PC so this can be adopted for uh, any OS because we are actually simulating uh, keyboard presses uh, that are needed in order for you to lock your PC uh, in this case we are pressing we are pressing the scroll delete and then from that many we are pressing the enter in order to set, select the locking function which will indeed lock our PC and then in order to log out, to log in back again we are pressing first first enter then um, sequentially sending the keys from your password and then pressing pressing the enter once again of course for this application uh, your password somehow needs to be programmed in but but uh, that is that is of course what what is expected to be known now take a glance over the code of course i'm using arduino id the newer version so the version currently is 2.2.1 so i'm using arduino id and the code is actually very simple i'm using fast led library in order to have control over my fully addressable rgb led which, uh, which is uh, currently located on the, the custom developer board that I made. Uh, you will have a couple of links in the description if you want to have uh, to order the exact same board. You, you will have the Gerber files for, for and the bomb for GLC PCPs in order to order one if you, if you would like that. But uh, going back to code, so we are using FastLD library for embedded uh, RGB LED and that LED is actually indicating the states that we are in. Next we need to include two libraries that is USB and USB HID keyboard which which uh, will give us functionality that we need in order to to in order for our ESP32 to send to send actual actual key key presses. And of course, I included a pass.h library that is custom library that is inside this project in which I just included my password. So I don't have to blur it here. I'm just importing that password, password size here. And basically that, that is all. You can you can add simple uh, char, uh, char array here with your password and be done with it. But I didn't want to spend time in editing this. So this was easier for, for me. Now, if we just skip a, uh, skip a bit, we and go to the setup part. The setup part is very very simple. So we are just setting up the LED. We are starting uh, HID functionality with keyboard begin and USB begin, and we are selecting here that actually our uh, setup is complete by selecting our selecting our RGB to be blue. And that's basically it. Now, when we are in the main loop, we are waiting five seconds, then we are locking our PC. Uh, after we lock our PC, we are setting uh, our status LED to yellow. And then we are waiting for, for five, five additional seconds in order to unlock our PC. And then uh, we wait indefinitely. So, pretty simple. And now, if you just you just need to check out uh, those two functions. So, if we scroll up, basically our first function shall be uh, lock PC, and it's actually very very simple. So, we are selecting the key presses that we would like. 
then we are waiting just a small amount of time and then we are releasing it. So with this we are simulating uh, the simultaneously press press off uh, control alt and delete uh, buttons on your keyboard. After this we are waiting one second of course this time can be decreased but for for good measure and then we are pressing enter one more time. And this is basically it. We are just now clearing the stat status uh, which means that we locked our PC here. For uh, unlock PC functionality is uh, actually uh, actually as well simple. So first we are pressing um, enter key and releasing it. This will actually enable us to, to start to start inputting our password. Then we are just going over each uh, password character and actually pressing that that button waiting 100 milliseconds and releasing that button. So this function, uh, this uh, for loop will actually go over our password inside our pass.h file and input each character one by one. Then we have a bit of a delay and then we are just pressing uh, enter once again in order to apply this password and that's it. So if I demonstrate one more time, it looks something like this. So we are waiting five seconds. Then our, our central delete was pressed, then enter and our PC is locked. And now we have uh, enter and starting the input of our password. And after uh, one more enter, we are back in. So pretty simple. I think this project is uh, very interesting because it it give you opportunity to battle it up with uh, something like uh, BLE uh, detection, so Bluetooth low energy detection, in order for that to unlock and lock your PC, which means that you can create something like uh, something like proximity detection for your PC in order to uh, sense your present and then lock uh, or lock and or unlock automatically. But uh, I will try to co cover that in more details in part two of uh, this series, how to automate um, locking and unlocking of your PC with ESP32. Thank you for watching, take care and see you in the next one. Bye.